Nigeria's inflation rate surged to a new high of 33.2% in March 2024, a 1.5% point increase from February. This marks a slower month-on-month -month rise, 1.5% compared to February, 1.8%, but a significant 11.16% increase year-on-year. Food prices remain a major driver, reaching 40.01% inflation, driven by rising costs of staples like gari, yam, and millet. Urban areas were hit harder, with inflation reaching 35.18% year-on-year, compared to 31.45% in rural areas. Core inflation, excluding volatile items like food and energy, also rose significantly, reaching 25.90% year-on-year in March. To discuss this, I'm joined by Chief Executive Officer, Center for the Promotion of Private Enterprise, Muta, Muda Yusuf. Muda, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you much for having me. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, many analysts predicted 32% inflation rate for March, but here we are with 33.2%. Did you see this coming? Yes, of course. Uh, the trend has been consistent uh, over the last uh, couple of months. And up until March, uh, nothing significantly has changed. Uh, if you look at the key drivers of inflation, I look at the exchange rates, look at uh, the issues of insecurity, the cost of energy, cost of transportation, uh, weak productivity, and so on. Uh, these have been all the key challenges uh, affecting uh, inflation and, uh, and, uh, and general price level. So up until March, uh, not much has changed. So uh, the threshold of 30, slightly over 30, is what has been maintained. So it's not surprising that you have uh, this, this kind of numbers. Uh, does this maybe speak to the ineffectiveness of CBN's monetary policy stance, or is there something else to blame for this uh, sticky inflation? Well, the inflation we have uh, in, the, in Nigeria is essentially supply-side driven. Mm -hmm. In other words, they're essentially factors that are impacting on production, uh, cost of distribution, and things like that. They are essentially what you call cost push inflation. Uh, there is a limit to which the uh, monetary policy instruments can impact on those. If you look at take things like the cost of diesel, uh, the exchange rates, for instance, the insecurity, issues of climate change, issues of logistics, and so on. Uh, there is very little impact that monetary policy can have on those key variables. And those are the major drivers of inflation. Uh, the monetary policy instruments are essentially about managing liquidity, uh, reducing money supply, and so on and so forth. Uh, but to the extent that monetary policy instruments are now able to impact on a very key important variable, which is exchange rates, we may begin to see some positive outcomes as far as inflation is concerned, arising from the actions of the central bank. But that may not manifest immediately. Uh, it will take some time because normally there is a lag uh, between when these actions take place and when you begin to see the results at the retail end of, uh, of, of the market or the retail prices. So I think the outlook going forward looks, uh, looks much better than what we have, possibly from April to May, we may begin to see a moderation in inflation. Uh, Naira has been named the best performing currency in April. We had expectation it will trade uh, below 1,000 Naira, yet this is not translating to reduction in the price of food items and other commodities. Are there any specific sectors or goods where the Naira appreciation might be translating into lower prices for consumers? Well, it will be translated faster in the area of uh, manufactured products. Uh, and we are beginning to see evidence of that, uh, things like noodles and so on. Uh, we are beginning to see some evidence, even rise. I mean, there are reports that there's a marginal decrease in prices. But the first uh, round of impact will come from 
uh, the manufacturer products because most of the manufacturing uh, sector activities are highly import dependent and they are highly sensitive to exchange rate uh, movements. So that is where the impact will begin to manifest. But again, because uh, many of these manufacturers, distributors, importers already have the existing stock which they have, which they had bought at a very high price. Until they exhaust those stock or those inventories, and we may not, we may not begin to see the uh, immediate impact of the depreciation in the, in the, in the, I mean, of the appreciation of the currency. So we need to give some time. Uh, there is normally a lag for these effects to begin to manifest. We should give maybe a month or two before we begin to see the impact of this. If the current trend of strengthening the currency of Naira appreciation is sustained. All right. Uh, should the MPC effect another rate hike? What would be the outlook for businesses and consumers alike? Well, uh, if there is another rate hike, I think that will put more pressure on the real sector of the economy, on entrepreneurs, particularly those of them that have either existing facility, uh, I'm talking of loan facility now with the banks, or that are willing to depend on the banks for facility. Because that will, you know, uh, drive, I mean, drive up uh, interest rates, Already, uh, in, for many businesses uh, and for many banks, uh, I mean, we are seeing an interest rate of between 30 to 35, in some cases, even up to 40%, which is really very outrageous. So if the rate hike continues, we are likely to see uh, more, much bigger challenges as far as the cost of credit is concerned. And that is not good uh, for growth. It's not good for investment. It's not good for job creation. Because in dealing with the challenges of inflation, we should also worry also about increasing output. And it is these manufacturers, whether they're in manufacturer products or agri products or agri processing, these are the people that will generate the output. These are the people that are generating the jobs. Okay. So we don't want an interest rate situation that will suffocate them in terms of either their ability to service existing debt or ability to access facility from the banking system. All right, Muda, thank you very much for speaking with us. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much.